Happy vlog week 73! Oh my god, this room is so echoey now. I'm so excited for our first night in the house. I feel like it's going to be so memorable. So I actually asked my friend Danny if he wanted to come over so that he can help me organise. He's also going to stay over as well and I just feel like this is going to be such a fun memory and a start to our new life. I'm like the organiser of everything, you know, so I've always wanted a place where people can come, I can host them. We're going to be spending the first night with my best friend and my boyfriend. How can that get any better, you know? The blower bed was not the one, guys. <laughs> if you wanted a good night's sleep after a long, hard, back-breaking day, do not sleep on a blower bed. Every time Tweed shuffled, it caused a tsunami. <laughs> so we're gonna go and return the van now? Yes, Tweed has a drive. I have to drive. Beware, guys. Tweed's on the road today. Watch out, guys. Tweed is driving. <laughs> So I literally have no idea where I'm going. I'm literally following Gwang in the van at the moment. And Gwang is like a speedy ass driver as well. So if he speeds off at the traffic light, he's gonna leave me by myself. We made it! There's Gwang in his little truck. I feel like a little spy. I feel like I'm catching my man cheating, you know? Hello, speedy Gonzalo. Uh, look at us, we're matching today. Look at all different shades of green. 50 shades of green over here. The person who always likes to run the traffic light when it's Amber leaving me at the red light. Whatever. You know that I'm gonna get stuck at the red light and you keep going when it's Amber. Why don't you wait? It went Amber when I passed it. No, it didn't. I'm back in the passenger seat where I damn belong. People was asking us, why didn't we hire professional movers? We were just being cheap, guys. The van was cheap and it was quicker too do ourselves. I just feel like we're removal people. They're not gonna know where to put stuff. You know with your family you can just look crusty, you can just say whatever, but when you have like removal people, I don't know, you just have to put on this act and you have to like feel nice, offer them tea and stuff. I don't wanna be nice, I just wanna get on my day when I'm stressful, I just wanna scream, you know what I mean? Guys, we're reunited! <laughs> we're reunited guys, and even though it's raining and gloomy, nothing will stop the smiles. You see this smile? Oh! <laughs> and we're gonna have a sleep! Yay! Slumber party! Honey, I'm home! What do you think of my new sofa? Beautiful, I love it. It's really like transparent. <laughs> we just got our first delivery to the house. It is from Simple Human. It's the place to go if you're looking for cute stylish bins this one's really nice sleek and it's actually 55 liters so really nice and big so you don't have to constantly keep running and changing out your bin bags this is designed for dogs one day i probably will get a little dog but for now i'm gonna store my rice in here okay so this is actually fingerprint proof which is really cool and it's airtight this actually says half a cup or one full cup it's literally perfect and it's literally magnetic so you guys know that I've always dreamt of having a freaking dishwasher, right? And all I thought I needed was just some dishwasher tablets. But no, Danny is schooling me. He's teaching me something she right now. She needs salt, guys. So in here, come on, I'm going to show you. All right. So in here, there's this little thing, guys. And if you have a dishwasher and you don't know about this, now's the time. So you unscrew this and you literally have to put salt there and fill it up right to the top. Oh, wow. And it makes sure that whenever you have glass, it's like squeaky clean. Wow, no way. Is it special salt or is it just... Yeah, it's special dishwasher salt. Now, if you love kitchen organization, this is calling your name, baby. Oh my God. So this is from an Instagram brand called Hampshire Home Trend. Bath salts. We've got all our spices here. We've got gravy granules, stock, cornstarch, olive oil, some soy sauce. This is normally the soy sauce that I use. That just doesn't go with the aesthetic, you know, it's just not the vibe. So I'm gonna pour it into here. And I love the fact it has one of these spouts as well. So you can actually control how much soy sauce you have in there cereal in here oh my god and it's all airtight as well how crazy is it that this bedroom makes a super king size look so small but in another house if you put a super king size bed it'll just swallow up the room and then over on this side we have daddy's bed tonight how cute so this is our blow up mattress he's got a pillow here oh my god he's even got a little flat sheet how cute he's gonna be staying in my beauty room tonight so he's got his own ensuite mm. Daddy, make yourself at home, girl. So it's time for the fun to begin, hopefully. So Gran's gonna set up a sofa. This is a sofa, but you can actually turn it into a blow-up bed. How cool is that? Oh my God, sweet. Is this a new sofa? I yeah. love it so much. Do you like it? It's spill-proof. It's got cup holders. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's nice. The headrest is a good height. Babe, look at that cup holder, though. Oh my God. 
Wow, you can really fist it. This is where Twee and Quang are gonna grow older, guys. Yeah, Sat right here, looking at the TV right here. I like it, guys. Do you like it? Yeah, thumbs up. I'll leave the link in my description. Morning, guys. <sighs> First night here. I didn't even bother putting on my pajamas. That's how much fun me and Danny had last night. These guys were night I was watching a movie till like 3 a.m. <laughs> I was saying that if it was just me and Grant, we would have just opened boxes, organized stuff. We wouldn't have made it fun. When your friend is here, it makes you want to turn on the music, put up the projector. It was like more of a memory of my first night, you know? Me and Grant had the rest of our lives, you know, to spend here. So it was so special having Danny here. He really, really made it such a memory for us. First night in our home. The room was so big when I woke up. I was like, oh my God. There's so much room that I could just leave and I wouldn't even feel him move. And because we have carpets as well, it's like so quiet. How bright is this damn room? I had to sleep with an eye mask because otherwise it would have woke me up at like 5 a.m. in the morning. You know what I mean? I literally ran to wee and it was like two steps away. It was so lovely. Oh, on Honestly, guys, I can't believe this is my house. <laughs> Anyways, let's go see what Danny's up to. Oh, Grant's making the bed. This is a change for him. Oh my God, why is my landing so big? Morning! What's up, guys? You know the birds literally pull out worms on the ground? Wow, I literally have seen the longest worm come out of your garden. No. And the birds are like, eating it away. I've never seen anything like it. I'm mesmerized. But how was your evening last night? I slept so good, what? honestly. I slept like a log. I woke up, I had a shower. Oh, was it nice having an en suite? Really nice, oh, actually. Really nice. Sad to see that go when it turns into a beauty room. I might still <laughs> no, use the No, you can have the family bathroom. You can have a whole oh, yeah, big bathroom true. to yourself. It's just nice having that little moment. It was. It? We watched a movie that we didn't even know what was happening. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called? It's called Oxygen. It was new on Netflix. I literally feel like there's so much nature here. Guys, what do we think? Keep the tree right, keep the tree. I think we're going to have to keep the tree, aren't we, guys? <laughs> Grand thing has got to go, but... Well, look, if you got rid of that tree, you can see all your neighbours. But I'm going to put new trees. It's going to be tiny. <laughs> <laughs> we literally just come back from food shopping, guys. Tell me why I was shopping for six hours. I need to show you guys the damage. This is one receipt. There's two receipts. There's three receipts. And the big finale, the fourth receipt. Look how long this receipt is. I love food shopping. Me and my mum, we always used to go food shopping together. She taught me what fruit to buy and I just always love the experience of like going and picking out snacks. If you're moving into your first home for the first time, that initial food shop is so expensive because you need to buy everything. You need to buy salt, pepper. Onions, garlic. Everything. You have to buy everything from scratch. This is what being an adult is like. All of these cereals, and not just these cereals. I got more cereal. I clearly see why we spent four hundred pound. <laughs> Twee bought the whole shop. Lucky Charms. This doesn't exist in the UK. I saw it at B and M. I was like, I got to have it. We have to have. Cocoa Pops, this is a necessity. Golden Nuggets, this was Grand's choice. I wanted to put this one back. He was like, no, you need Golden Nugget. We also got Crunchy Nut, you know, if you're a bit boring. This is the basic option to go for. Twee's doing a break my walk. Where he's trying to the cereals and tests it. Special K chocolate makes me feel a bit more healthier, even though it has chocolate in it. And then Reese's Pieces Puff. This is my favorite cereal of all time. And it's always five pounds. But in B&M, it's only four pounds. So I ended up buying two boxes. I definitely went overboard with 10 boxes of cereal. Cereal, it's just good for breakfast, you can have it for lunch, a midnight snack. It's just good for everything, you know, you don't need no cooking skills required. I want it to be like a shop when you come here. I want you to have the experience when you drive all this way to see me. So this is my favourite rice that I buy. I get it from the Asian supermarket. I really like jasmine rice, so this is the brand that I go for. It's a big 20 kilo bag. Okay, so this is why I need a big ass bin to store my rice in. This is also why our food shop was so expensive, because that bag of rice is like 40 pounds. Okay, so Grant is going to do the honours. Do not spill any rice, okay? Work smart, not harder, mate. See this? Wow. You think I'm going to carry this big bag? What did I say? The spiller of. The spiller of all spiller are spilled. Got too cocky for my boots. We have salt baked guang in the house. <laughs> 
It's Sunday today and we are cooking. This is our first attempt at cooking in our new house. And it's so annoying because we don't have pots and pans. So the only thing we have is an oven and an air fryer. Normally we're meant to boil these potatoes first in a pan, but we ain't got no pans. <laughs> We literally missed our delivery yesterday, so it's coming tomorrow. Yesterday I had my first shower, washed my hair, it was amazing. I didn't wake up until 12 today. It's so good to wake up and have so much space. You know when people say the kitchen is the heart of the home, it really is. As long as you have your kitchen in order, you've got all your stuff, you can just sit on the floor. So here we have our air fryer that my friends kindly gifted to me. Cute. Not only does it have just two baskets, you can actually program both of the baskets to finish at the same time. There's been so many times where I need to cook some chips and I've got some chicken going on, but the chicken takes longer and then my chips are all dried by the end of it. And then next door we have our toaster. Both matte black and it just looks like they go together. Like how cool and how sleek that wasn't even planned. This is a brand called DeLonghi and they do amazing toasters, coffee machines, kettles. I've actually waited for the matching kettle but it's out of stock all the toasters that i've ever had in my life is always just the two but this is a four slice toaster so i can cook double the amount of toast this is our first official meal that we cooked inside of our new home we ended up putting water from the tap and adding some gravy to it and we stuck it in the oven and it worked this is the first time that we have a electric oven normally we have a gas oven and electric ovens are so much better it cooks things so much more evenly the struggle is so real right now because we don't have internet in our house we have to try to upload using the data for my phone as a hotspot. Look how slow it is guys, it's on 5% for like 30 minutes now. So we thought let's send the video over to Graham's phone and we're also uploading from here. The dedication is real. So we just got a delivery of our new ring light. So this is from a brand called El Gato. I'm currently using the light right now, it looks amazing. I'm going to turn the light off so you guys can see. This is what it looks like without the ring light. And this is with the ring light, it looks so much more lit. Something that I really like is that it's actually tiltable. So you are mounted up in the sky. So I can show you guys what I'm cooking, what I'm making, arts and crafts. This is what the ring light looks like. It comes with a little phone holder, so great for TikToks. But the main reason why I love this ring light is because it actually doesn't sit on a tripod. You literally just screw it onto your table. You guys see it's so flush as well. So I really want to do a more like live videos live youtube videos where i'll tell you guys a date and we just all like do our makeup together or something so this is how you do it it's called a cam link and this is literally perfect for anyone that's doing job interviews at the moment if you are doing loads of zooms meetings and you need to look quite like nice and professional because when you do zooms on your laptop you literally look so fuzzy basically like a little usb that you plug into your laptop and then over here you can actually plug in your hd Mic, and then you can live stream from your camera. Quality of cameras obviously is so much better than your phone or your laptop, you know. Grant also got this capture card if you're doing gaming, if you're doing streaming. So you literally just plug this into your PC and it records everything for you. So this is how we're spending our Sunday night. We're gonna sit on our blow up sofa. Uh. Graham has set up the projector. We also linked our Logitech speakers as well. We've got surround sound, guys. One day I'm gonna have the ultimate cinema experience right in my house. Electric fireplace. I want the walls to light up the color, whatever's on the screen. Surround sound. So much plans for this house. This is a temporary setup, but it's quite epic to be fair. <laughs> so this is our basic setup. We have no furniture, blow up mattress. And this is our makeshift home cinema. Woo! Just like in the pyro DVD. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I am literally watching last week's vlog on the projector screen right now and I am bawling my eyes out. Oh, I'm so happy that I vlogged that moment. Just going to this house for the first time, crying like this. <laughs> oh, it's just such a happy moment. I'm so glad I vlogged it because it was just so raw and so real. How crazy is that we can always look back on this memory? So happy. Happy Monday. 
Monday morning, everyone. I've always dreamed of having those pantries where you open it. It's like, wow, there's so many snacks and everything's all nicely labeled. You know, Khloe Kardashian vibes. That's what I'm going for. These are all of the jars that's gonna go inside of my pantry. Everything here is from Hampshire Home Trends. I'm so excited about this. I just ordered black spray paint, so I'm gonna do a little DIY. This is so cool because there's salt, pepper, and stock. I'm gonna put like chicken stock in here. It's so cool because it has like a little spoon here. So we're actually gonna leave this out on the countertop while we're cooking. This is coming in my pantry, which just looks so freaking messy. They're trying to make everything look aesthetically pleasing. It's like a TV commercial. We are gonna be putting our lovely fish sauce in a nice aesthetically pleasing bottle and we have to be careful of this one okay don't get nothing on account because this nukes look at this olive oil it just looks like a pinterest board in my house i am finally done for today but look at the kitchen all of my laundry stuff don't look at this because i need to buy a whole nother jar because this only filled up half of it so i'm just gonna buy another pack i ain't got a washing machine but i got all of my laundry detergent now okay brew corner over here i actually don't even drink coffee so this is more just for my guests my cereal is all nice and laid out and then uh, my pantry I put all my crisps in these little bins here so you can pull out and see what flavor you want to go for and down here I've got my little treats as well oh we have all my spices this is my little spice rack and this is literally perfect for when I'm cooking I can just reach over and grab any spices that I want to go for so now I really know what daddy means by he's just cleaning all the time it's like 7 p.m now and that took me all day how could do my damn spices take all damn day I have been waiting for these pots and pans for five days. We have been so excited to finally cook on this stove or worktop because every single meal that we've been cooking, we've just been shoving it in the oven. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for, guys. Bitch is heavy. Smack a bitch and knock him out. <laughs> I said, to God, it's so heavy, like a hammer. Okay, let's unbox this one together. It's heavy. It's a wok, guys. The premium bougie bougie Asian over here. I've got my fish sauce in a nice little decanter and I've got my wok. What else do you need to be more Asian? You know what I mean? And you can just tell that this coating of non-stick is not gonna scratch. Real hard work, guys. We can have boxes. Just look at all the boxes. You see those three boxes? Everything's ripped up in those boxes, just like this one. But this one keeps unboxing everything. I want to buy more! Do you know what they say about new build houses, how the walls are really hollow? I can confirm that the walls are hollow because the other day I was downstairs and I could hear Gwen upstairs. My shitty little desk so far. How crazy is that, that in our house, this took up nearly half of the wall and it was like jammed in the corner. And now look how much space you have. Oh my God, Gwen has hidden all of the cables. Look at all this, it's all under here, all sneakily hiding away. This is the trickery. This is social media and this is real life. All the shit you don't get to see. So how annoying is this? Me and Grant still don't have internet here at the house. BT's taking so long to update us. We have no idea what's happening with that. So we've literally been terroring and using everything from our phone. Uploading from our phone. Grant's gonna try to play a game on his phone. I don't know how that's gonna work. There's a way, there's a wheel. If there's a wheel, there's a wheel. If there's a wheel, there's a way, okay? This is my little makeshift setup right now. I've got my slippers here, my makeup, which I haven't even touched since being here, but I've got my skincare and a mirror that's sitting on top of a PR box. So when I'm getting ready, I literally have my Dyson Air up here, a brush. That's all you need in life, isn't it, guys? I'm using my cooktop for the first time. I still haven't got a kettle, so I need to boil some water because I want to make a cup of tea. It's literally been about four minutes and the water is bubbling away. Wow. I just can't believe there's no flame. Cheers. Cheers. Made my cup of tea this morning in my little zwilling glass. How cute is it? Look, it's double glassed. We're out in our garden looking at all the trees. I think the cherries are growing, guys, on our tree. It's so nice and peaceful out here, isn't it? I feel like I kind of don't belong because I'm not a very peaceful person. Guys, I literally just had a shower, washed my hair. Oh, it feels so good to have an ensuite, guys. I can't tell you the feeling of just literally rolling out of bed and walking straight into the shower. It's amazing. Let me show you what the garage is looking like because since we moved here, I've just been ignoring this whole room. This is the truth. The boxes, the suitcases, the hangers. We have literally been ignoring this whole room and we've just been living in bliss. And it really goes to show, I don't need all of this shit because I've just been living out of a little bag and I've been completely fine. Our bins have also arrived as well, yay! 
but I need to show you guys that this bad boy that I just installed. So we installed this kind of like soap dispenser set from Simple Human and oh my God, I had a shower today for the first time. It was so nice not having to duck down because we don't have much shelves at the moment. So this is such a nice way to store like your shampoo, conditioner and body wash. So whenever it's sunny, I love walking outside into my garden. Where I am in like the countryside, it's like you probably hear all of the birds. I need to show you guys this damn tree because I know some of you guys said keep the tree but it just has so much shade all over my garden like I have no more sunlight because of this big ass tree look at this my whole garden is shaded because of this tree maybe I need to just try to trim her back because she is growing everywhere guys she is flourishing also look at these big ass holes that's all over my garden birds keep coming and literally pulling out worms from the floor how much do you think garden renovations are i think it's going to be a pretty penny but probably won't be able to do it until next summer <laughs> today is an exciting day guys because our first pieces of furniture is arriving how crazy is it that the shipping from sweden is faster than most shipping in the uk What's up with it? I have been so sick of literally sitting on these crusty chairs. Look at this chair. We've been using our old IKEA office chairs and look at it. This is fake leather for ya. We have chairs! Woohoo! Now we have to bring like 10 more boxes in. Isn't it so crazy that I ordered my chairs and I haven't even ordered the table? We're gonna see if we can get our table custom made. So hopefully that should come in the next few weeks. We've been sitting on our crusty chairs that we bought from Ikea. Like look at all this, the levers all peeling off. The real truth behind the scenes. If I had to make a TikTok right now. I had to leave my slippers. I had to leave my slippers here so I know the exact position my feet was in when I'd done the transition. So you get it super seamlessly. This is all the stuff behind the scenes that you guys never get to see. We're boxing our breakfast basket. Ah! Oh my god, there's two in one. Oh. oh my god, they look so sleek. So originally I was actually gonna plan to have white leather, but last minute I changed it to like a grey velvet. I'm so happy that I changed it because I feel like the white leather would have looked too stark. The grey is still light enough where it still looks like a contrast between the black. This is the theme we're kind of going for throughout our whole house. It's like lots of black lines and it just looks so sleek and so modern. Doesn't this look so Instagrammable? Like you just want to take a freaking outfit photo right here. Can you just imagine it already? The reel has been posted. We got there then, so if you haven't watched it, Go check out the home account and check it out. Go and follow X Twilly Home. And I'm gonna sit on the breakfast bar stools for the first time. Oh, I like this bar action here. It also has little pedals here, so when you sit down, you can pop your feet under there. How nice is it that you can actually sit three people on this bar stool now? Yay! These are our dining room chairs. They look so sleek, guys. They literally match my bar stools. Like, how perfect. I'm so glad I went for leather on the armrest because I was going to originally get this as a velvet, but the leather looks really, really nice. I don't know, velvet, it just has more of like a homey feel, you know? Leather, when you come outside and it's hot and you sit down for dinner, you're going to have like sweaty thighs. I hate it when your skin sticks to leather. Oh my god, I feel like a boss ass bitch. I feel like I'm ready to make some money. I feel like for dining chairs, it was really important for me to have like armrest so that you can be like, right, what's on the agenda today, you know? Oh, I really like it. Look at all of our dining room chairs, guys. They're all lined up. Oh my god, this week has been so amazing. Our first week in our house. How do you yes. feel, babe? I am. Um... So tired. So tired. You know it. Hopefully next week we can actually secure our actual furniture, like our sofas and our dining room tables. Make sure you're following our home account because I'm doing like daily stories there about organising stuff that I'm buying for the house. So make sure you're following X Twilly Home. This week we've kind of been in a little bit of a bubble. Today is the first time I actually put on makeup. We literally just go upstairs to go to bed and then we come down here every day, which is so nice to have like a little living room. But next week we're going to go back to my mum's and help fix up the house and all that kind of stuff because we can't leave that a mess you know thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you guys so much for all the love can't wait to share more of this journey with you guys bye this is why i need a tripod because my hands like this i am so tired if i hear you say you're tired one more time i'm gonna slap this camera around your head every time you get on camera i'm so tired i'm so tired no one wants to hear you're tired that's enough crazy tweet for one day if you tell me you're tired I'm gonna slap a bitch because you, tired, don't do anything.
Sat around. Are you bum? Hello there. Jeffy got a shag on this. this you are wild. Currently editing now, and it's so crazy that I just filmed this literally last week. And look at the garden now. We have grass. Can you guys see this green? Okay, I have no idea why there's so many freaking branches and leaves on there. It should just be grass. Why is there like little weeds coming out? Our first initial, uh, initial meal. <laughs> A Michelin, Michelin, Michelin man. <laughs> I was so tired yesterday. I didn't get up until like 12. No, what have I, I said to you about tired, tired, tired? You can't keep saying you're tired. Just talk about how lucky and happy you are. Oh, Jesus. So. Good uh, to say. Ah! The Zoom. The Zoom of it all. Trying to expose my ass. Just got a hamper from Comfort. I don't have a washing machine. <laughs> I look crazy. Because <laughs> we're out in the countryside, there is so many bugs that if we leave a window open, a freaking bug will just fly in and live rent free here. <laughs> Queen Nikki! We need to stop before we get demonetized. She didn't get it right. She did it again. Take 100. Take 101. We're still here, guys. Take 200. Let's see if she gets to this one. No. Missed it. Missed yep. It, yeah. Okay. Two or three. No, nope, missed it. Nope, missed it. Okay. <laughs> Go again. This is what I've been seeing for the last 20 minutes. No. Nope. Okay. The transition wasn't Okay, go on again. <laughs> nope. Ah! We could have probably squeezed about four, but because I went for tweet, we had to go with three. Oh, 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 oh. Give me your money. Give me your money. Give me I your got money. To give. I spent it all on this house. Wishy, washy, 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 washy. Eat all, eat all. You guys are dirty. <laughs> This is what you have to do if you want to maintain the shower. With the squidgy it. Squidgy. Squidgy. Squeegee, babe. Not squidgy. Squeegee. 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 Do you think it stick to your face? 